So within this lesson, we're going to begin to build out our JavaScript AJAX call, and that's how we're going to communicate with the JSON data. So at first, I'm going to show you how we can output content just as JSON and pick it up in JavaScript, and then we're going to switch the source to the PHP as the source, and then dynamically update the source using our PHP code. So over here is just the default JSON file. I've got uh, four users in here, first name, last name, and age. Uh, so this is a default dummy file that I wanted to use in order to pull through this content and just to get everything working within JavaScript. So I want to uh, set up JavaScript AJAX. And what AJAX does is this gives me the ability to connect to an external file and retrieve back data uh, and pull that data into a useful format back into my JavaScript and then make use of all of that data. And this works really well with JSON because uh, the ability for JSON and the way that it handles objects. So the first thing that we want to do is set up a brand new variable. So I'm going to call this uh, variable Ajax HTTP because we're going to make a brand new uh, HTTP request. So that's the Ajax request. And this is a built-in method within, uh, within um, JavaScript that gives us the ability to set up this request call and transfer data through. So it's HTTP request. And I'm not passing any arguments into there, so it's just a simple new XML HTTP request, uh, and that's the call for it. Uh, so now that I've got all of this information into the object, I can begin to start creating that request. And just to show you what we're outputting here, uh, what's contained within this AJAX HTTP, I'm going to console log that information out, that object information, so we can take a look at it within our console and get a better sense of what information we're looking for and how these requests work. So when I refresh the page, we see that now we've got this object is set out. And when I open this up, it's got quite a um, few options in here. So we've got on abort, on error, on load, um, on progress, ready state change. And this is one of the, this is one of the important um, objects within here on ready state change. Uh, so this indicates that something is happening. And the ready state by default is zero. Uh, so when we do make the request, we're going to hear back another value for ready state. Uh, so hopefully, if everything is successful, our ready state will go to 4, and our status will go to 200, from 0 to 200. And that means that the ready state is going to change, and we're going to be listening for this change. Uh, so if it changes from 0 to whatever number, and we've got an update on our status as well, we're going to get some data back here, and listening for this change is going to initiate uh, our condition in order to retrieve back that data and output it within our JavaScript. So let's set that up now and go back into the browser here. I'm going to minimize this JSON part here, also hide away the sidebar because we're not going to really need to, to work with that very much. Um, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to set Ajax HTTP, and I want to open up my new request. So simply just do open, and the request that I'm going to be doing is a GET request. Uh, so that's just going to be reading whatever content is available within the JSON file. And also, I'm going to update, uh, add another variable here, and I'm just going to call this URL. So this is going to be where the JSON data is going to be located. So right now, it's in a file JSON, JSON. And this is right on my root directory, so I don't have to uh, find any additional path. But of course, if your JSON file is located somewhere else, you would have to update this path to match as well. So here, I'm just going to call to that value, that string value that's contained within URL variable. And I'm going to set it to true. So this is um, how it handles the data, the synchronous. Uh, so true 
um, by default it's going to be true. Uh, so it's always a good idea to keep that value within there. Uh, now AJAX HTTP set request header. Uh, so this is going to set the value of the HTTP request header. So you need to uh, call this and set this before we open it up. So actually, this should actually be in front of the open. So content type and application. Uh, so this is just so that we know what type of data we can expect to be retrieving back from our URL that we're providing. So I'm going to actually just copy this and paste it in front here. Uh, so the next thing that we wanted to do is actually do the send. So AJAX, HTTP. So this is just that variable. Of course, you can use any variable that you want uh, that makes sense for you. Uh, so send, and we're not going to send anything through, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And lastly, I want to actually set up that listener for the ready state change. But so to kind of go down here and move this down. So move this back under the open, and that should fix uh, that error. So refresh it. And uh, so now we can see information there that's being retrieved back. Uh, so we've got uh, our user information, our response data that's being pulled back from that JSON file. Uh, we've got a status of 200, and we've got a ready state of 4. So these two values are what we're going to look for within the condition. We know that ready state has now changed, status has changed, so now we can listen for that uh, condition changing those, and we can retrieve back the data within the response. And the reason that we can do that, uh, we can also just take that response text back now and uh, format it, parse it into uh, a, a value, an object that we can then use within JavaScript. But it's always a good idea to make sure that the data is actually successfully retrieved. Uh, so this is why this is why we're going to put that condition in to make sure that we're listening for that condition to be true. Uh, so that's going to go just over here, and we're going to do AJAX HTTP, and this method is called on ready state change. And when we do make that change, we're going to have another function in here. And then whatever uh, we're containing within here is where we're actually going to do the condition. Uh, so now that we know that that ready state has changed, I'm going to do an if AJAX HTTP ready state. That's a capital S there. So if it equals 4 and AJAX HTTP status, uh, so we check to see if status is 200. So 200 is a successful response back. Then we're going to actually um, do something here. Uh, and if there's an error, we can also uh, check for that or throw an error or do something else as well. Uh, so first of all, we're just going to retrieve back that response text. And I'm going to console log that out. So AJAX HTTP response text. And we'll console log that out. So when we take a look at this, uh, all we're doing is just grabbing this uh, returned value from the HTTP request. So now when I refresh it, we see that we've got this. Um, we see essentially the contents of that JSON file. So this is the response text because when we go to that JSON file, this is the actual contents of it. Or it should be JSON, period JSON. So we see that all we're doing is returning that information back. And in the next lesson, we're going to look at how we can parse this through into an object and use it as a usable format within our, within our JavaScript.